All right, so in this video, I am gonna show you how to play All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. This, in my opinion, is one of the best holiday songs and such a great song to learn on piano. And even if you're a beginner, intermediate, it is very possible. So just a heads up, I am splitting the song up into multiple parts rather than making one 20 or 30 minute video. I'd rather make like four, six minute videos, you know, to eight minute videos. Just that I think it's gonna be easier to follow along. And more importantly, you know, it gives you time to learn one part of the time. I think it's easy when you're learning a song to want to just rush in and learn it all, but then you don't actually give yourself a chance to learn all the parts correctly. So I highly encourage you just to stick with part one today and even maybe for a week or a few days, only practice part one until it gets really comfortable and easy to play. So I always talk about this a lot in my videos with practicing and how important it is to stay with a couple parts you know, one part, two parts at the most until it really gets down. There's no part point in going into part three and four if you haven't gotten one and two yet. So anyways, with that being said, let's get into part one. So you may notice this is middle C on my piano. I have changed the sound on my piano so that it actually sounds up here, right? So this is middle C. So I'm playing it here, but really it's gonna be, if you were playing it up here, that's how it would sound. So like I said, I messed with the octave button. If you really don't know what I'm talking about, message me and I'll explain more but anyways so here it is so left hand is gonna play a G chord G B and D so easy position for your left hand right start pinky on G every finger gets a note G B and D with pinky middle finger thumb All right so we'll start with that so right hand I'm gonna start with my thumb on G now just so you know there's lots of ways to play this melody Right, lots of different fingerings you can use. So I'm just gonna give you one fingering. There's many options, do what feels comfortable for you. So anyway, so left hand plays a G chord, and at the same time it plays the G chord, I'm gonna hit G in my right hand, so just like that. So I'm gonna use my first finger, my thumb on G, then index finger on B, and then I'm actually gonna tuck my thumb underneath, similar to doing a scale, to get to D here. So just like that. And that allows me to open my hand to get the rest of the melody up here. So let's go over that notes, right? So we start with just G chord in left hand, and then the right hand plays a G chord, G, B, D, so. And then we go up to F sharp, then to G, back to F sharp, down to E, down to D. All right, so G, B, D, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, just like that. And then now here's with the rhythm, right? So really work to get that rhythm, because even if you're playing the right notes, if your rhythm's off and you're doing, right, it's not gonna sound great, so. Okay, so from there, right? We're gonna hit the G chord again and hit A in our right hand. Just like that. Then G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, D. So once again. And I might have said F sharp twice there, so let me go over this part one more time here. So it starts like this, right? Let's go back to this first part. Take your time with me here. Then from there, we need to get our pinky to A, and we're gonna hit the G chord again. Then we hit G, then G again, then F sharp, then G again, F sharp again, then E and D, so. So here's this whole part. So take your time with that. I am gonna explain one more part today, but if you, if you feel like that is already a struggle, please pause the video and come back in a few minutes after you've had a chance to practice. Even if you come back tomorrow, that's still fine, right? Really learn that part. And then from there, now I'm gonna go down to a C chord here with my left hand and play a C chord, and my right hand's gonna play C. 
Now from here, I'm going to go to E with my second finger, G with my third finger, A with my fourth finger, B flat with my fifth finger. Or actually, I'm sorry, B natural. So once again, C, E, G, A, B flat. So, so let's talk about that down part. So we have... So we start with that C, E, G, A, B, and then we come back and just do A, G, E. So it's those same notes that we came up with, just going back now. Okay, so from there, right? Now here, right, so we just did that. I just replayed it for you just so you can hear one more time. Now we go to... We're going to go to C in our right hand. And our left hand is actually, let's just go over left hand. Our left hand is just going to make a small switch. Rather than a C major chord of C, E, G, we're going to go to a C minor chord of C, E flat in G. And then I'm going to play C in my right hand. And then E flat. Then G. A. And then here's your B flat. And then F, E flat. So I'll go over that part again. Don't worry, I was just kind of playing it for you so you could hear. All right, so coming to that part. All right, so let's go over this little part with C minor here. So our right hand plays C, E flat, G, A, B flat. So that's the way up. And then comes back to A, then F, then E flat. So. All right, so now, once again, take your time with that part. Feel free to pause the video, just get that second part down. You don't need to start at the beginning. So if you're working on part number two, which is this part. Right, that part. If that's the part you're working on, don't practice from here, right? Just work on that part by itself. Until it feels pretty comfortable. Then once that part feels comfortable, go back to the beginning. so far now the second part of this the second part of this series you will have the next part which you know right so we'll get into that uh that part there yeah i know it don't worry <laughs> anyways so i'll get into that in the next video like i said i really want you to just focus on getting this first part of the song down trust me you will be so much less frustrated if you stick with this part get it down for a few days, and then go check out the second part in my series. Um, you're more than welcome, of course, to do whatever you want. Try all the parts if you want, if that's how you learn it. But like I said, if you want to save yourself frustration, just work on this part for a while until it gets comfortable and then move on. All right, well, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And please subscribe, follow us. I am posting videos all the time. You can drop a comment below if you ever have any questions. And I look forward to having you back here again soon. Thanks for watching.